Hello, continuing to look at the two knights defence uh, for, from Black's point of view, C stands for cheeky and the cheeky move here for White is uh, knight to g5 and uh, I think this is the move that a lot of young players will tell me they this is why they don't play the two knights defence um, because Black has to lose a pawn. I mean lose the pawn, it's not lose the pawn, you're getting, a, getting an attack for a pawn, you're buying an attack um, for the price of a mere pawn. I think that's good value. <coughs> so uh, uh, d5 is the uh, right defence and now uh, e takes d5 for white and uh, the Grand Masters play knight a5. I don't think that's such as uh, such a good idea for... It's, it's just not the sort of move I think you ought to play. <laughs> I mean it's my pure right but it's you know let Grand Masters play it. And uh, knight takes d5 is very sensible, but it's not good. Uh, at some point, um, there's a threat of white playing knight takes uh, f7 and queen to f3 check, um, forking your king and the knight on d5. I mean, maybe you, that's also equal, but that's not a way I want you to see you play. So, well, what are we going to do? On e takes d5, we're going to play b5. It's called the Ulverstadt variation, um, forgive my pronunciation, <coughs> and I think that's uh, I, th I think that's the right sort of attitude. Well, let's, a lot of uh, youngsters will naturally play bishop takes b5, queen takes d5, and I think this is fine for black. You've got, what have you got for your pawn? Well, you've got um, lovely lines for your bishops, you've got uh, open lines for your rooks, and uh, you can castle quickly. And I think more than anything else, uh, just white's pieces are not cooperating. The knight's off to the king side, the bishop's off to the queen side. That's not, um, I say, just not, not coordinated for uh, white. And in this position, we've got a um, we've uh, got a, an attack on the bishop and the uh, pawn on uh, g2 there. Um, so I suppose the most natural move for white knight to c3, um, queen takes g2. Not, uh, um, not not a winning position for black, but I think this is not really what white wanted when they started to play. Um, <coughs> uh, takes on c6, takes on c6, and castles is safer. Um, but you can also get castles, which I think is 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 fine. Bishop b7. Uh, for uh, black um, f3 I guess and uh, bishop c5 check h6 and you can either play h uh, play e4 immediately or uh, prepare it by castling and I think you've got a nice got a nice game there <coughs> uh, if um, queen to f3 instead of castling uh, avoid the exchange of queens and uh, I think you've got an okay game. What else could white play? Um, I guess uh, on move six uh, they could play uh, takes the knight, takes the bishop, so now you've got two bishops and if uh, knight to c3 then um, well lots of things look okay. Uh, move a bishop out, play h6 I think those are all, all alright for black. And uh, uh, yeah, I think the, uh, I think you, you're looking okay there. O oddly enough, the the right move for white here, um, uh, which I, I, I suspect none of your opponents will play, um, is bishop to f1. <coughs> and black's got uh, a little bit of a problem uh, getting sorted out. The, uh, there's a, an absolutely famous and hair-raising line called the Fritz variation now, um, by where white, uh, sorry, black plays knight to d4, and uh, 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 so c3, knight takes d5, hitting. So there's a discovered attack on the white knight, and uh, 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 now if. Uh, knight to e4, there's a very famous game with queen to h4, which a couple of people played by correspondence. Uh, Jakob Estrin and uh, Hans Berliner uh, played this game. And uh, this was a, 
uh, uh, well just bonkers uh, knight, knight g3 bishop g4 f3 e4 what is going on um, now you can play that but after knight e4 just drop the knight back with knight e6 and uh, uh, after check bishop d7 takes takes uh, castles <coughs> f5 um, so you're still attacking but you're not a piece down and I think that's a uh, that's okay white gets time to castle but I think black's having more of the fun here and uh, I mean yes you're a pawn down but that's you, you th think about it as buying some development with a pawn buying buying an attack with a pawn I think you're okay you've got some good active pieces you've got some targets have a go um, instead uh, what else can we do? There's um, so after bishop to f1. Um, if all of that still doesn't appeal, uh, uh, there's a, a a fairly safe line I think for white uh, for black here. Play h6 and avoids the Fritz variation. And now, well, lots of possibilities for for whites. I mean, I have seen. Um, uh, uh, takes takes and takes uh, recommended um, but I mean bishop to c5 if you play a gambit you've got to look forward to this um, and uh, off you go uh, instead uh, knight to uh, f3 by uh, white um, queen takes d5 uh, knight c3 queen e6 and now uh, I guess knight takes is um, is appropriate and your plan is still the same um, just develop fast maybe castle long <coughs> and off you go um, so def you need to defend the um, c pawn uh, bishop b7 castles long and just stop white uh, settling um, uh, what white wants to get sorted out swap some pieces win the end game um, but uh, don't let that happen um, get get in there, get in their face, and get uh, get organised. So instead of those variations, um, well, there's quite a lot of other choice on uh, move seven four um, for white. Let's roll back a bit. Um, what else could they play? Um, I mean, takes takes put, uh, knight takes knight. A oh, very curious position. Uh, it looks like Cat might have walked across the board or something. Um, I don't know that we're going to get into many of those. Uh, instead, um, there's uh, sometimes play knight to e6. Um, just an, an uncommon choice to, to make a mess. Uh, takes, takes, and uh, you just got to develop around those double pawns. I mean, they control a lot of squares. Um, Knight takes b5. I mean, moves away, moves back, moves away. Uh, so uh, queen takes d5. I think is um, about forced. Uh, knight c3 takes queen up, takes takes, and bishop d7. I think, uh, uh, and again, black has black has fair chances in this position. Um, I mean, you're not a pawn down, although you may become so. And uh, I think you've got okay chances there. And I think that's about it. I mean, there's lots more detail in the file, lots more detail to be had, but uh, I guess most young players won't even get that far. Just while we're looking at the cheeky, uh, uh, cheeky variation, um, you can be cheeky back if you like. After knight to g5, a good secret weapon for blitz games, I think, is bishop to c5. It's sometimes called the Traxler counter-attack or uh, the Wilkes Bray variation. Um, Oh, just just bonkers. Um, so what's white going to do? Uh, knight takes f7 and now you hit them with uh, bishop takes f2 check and if king takes f2 knight takes e4 check and uh, uh, whatever white does say king e1 uh, queen h4 check and now g3 takes rook f1 check King up, she might. How about that? <laughs> now that's not all forced. Uh, after king takes f2, check. Uh, king should go to g1. 
but after queen h4, you, you know, you've still got a you've still got a good attack there. Um, so and off off you go. That's all. Uh, that's all fun. <coughs> and the less fun bit, and the rather boring truth of this variation, is that uh, white should take with the bishop. Bishop takes f7 check, and white's just a little bit better. Um, you can try. I guess king f8 and uh, try and get uncoiled. Um, bishop b3, d5, and uh, takes a knight d4. Uh, I suppose you're still going forwards. Um, if you're insistent on trying to use the um, f file for your rook, you can play king e7. It's not in the way of the bishop, is it? Um, and uh, take it from there. But again, I think, you know, bishop to b3, rook f8, white's just a little bit better here. Not uh, not too many weaknesses, um, or bishop d5, rook f8, uh, and either rook f1 or castles, uh, castles d6, and I think rook f1, queen e8. Um, well, I mean you can still you can still go forwards here, but uh, I think the consensus is that white's just a little bit better than than black in these positions. Um, yeah, there's a there's there's a game to be had. But uh, uh, and, and you might do okay in, uh, if white goes wrong. But it's it's uh, uh, I think I say one one for blitz games that don't matter too much. Uh, Bishop c5, the bonkers variation. Anyhow, so that's what if that's if white is cheeky.